Hi guys, I'm a huge fan of Martin Lewis and the work that he does, and generally he's good at holding politicians' feet to the fire on issues such as the cost of living crisis. But he seemed to let this Tory minister get away with distraction and allow her to avoid answering his question. His question was simple. Should people rein in their spending in order to survive and thus bring down inflation, or should they be spending more to boost growth? Have a listen to her response. Not her answer, there was none, but her response. Can you tell me at the moment, should people be re reining in their spending because that's what interest rates are for, or should they be spending more to help the economy and stave off recession? Because I'm confused and I don't know which message to listen to. Could you Martin, tell me? I wouldn't dream well, of I'd giving like you, to. of all people, well, then, economic advice. Well, I, um, we've got where, mixed where messages, is what I'm subtly saying. I've got mixed messages. Which one should I be listening to? Well, I think the messages that I'm getting loud and clear is that the government understands that people are worried about their finances this winter, understandably so. We've had a really tough couple of years. We spent a lot of money during the pandemic, rightly, on things like the furlough scheme. We've got an extremely unstable global situation. I think the message I would give is that the government gets that people are worried about their finances this winter. The government will continue to intervene in a very targeted way to help the most vulnerable wherever it can. And it's really important that, that people know that, that there will be arms around as there were during the pandemic but that the growth message is a strong one, and that is very sincere as well from this government. We have to grow the pie for everybody. Growing pies once again. OK, this is complete nonsensical. Did she answer the question? Of course she didn't. The question was, should people rein in their spending or should they spend more? Now, she couldn't answer it because she would piss off one section of the Conservative Party. If she said people should rein in their spending, you know, it's a very difficult time, cut back, it would sound very um, uncaring. Uh, for a better choice of words. It'd be embarrassing to say that because she's in a very privileged position. She's earning at least 84, maybe over a hundred thousand pounds a year. And she's telling people you need to cut back because um, there's a cost of living crisis. Now, of course, people are already cutting back, but it'd seem very uh, disconnected from reality if she was to tell people, well, you should be cutting back when I'm not having to cut back. So she can't go down that road. The other alternative is to tell people to spend more, but people can't spend more if they don't have more. So she'd end up saying, well, you should go out and get another job or work more hours. And then that would show another type of disconnect from reality. So instead of actually answering the questions, she started talking about putting arms around people and growing pies and all this sort of rubbish. It, what needs to be put in place is real support for people. At the moment, it seems what's going to happen when it comes to universal credit or other benefits, people are not going to know anything until next April. They've been told wait until autumn. Now it seems wait until April next year before we decide whether we're actually going to increase benefits in line with inflation. People can't wait until next year. They're struggling at the moment. But once again, it's... I'm a little bit disappointed with and Martin Lewis here for not uh, pushing back a bit more on this. It was a very simple question. Should people reduce their spending or should they increase their spending? Obviously, they can't do either because they're in a very de desperate situation. But at least get the minister to admit that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.